close your eyes. Imagine a beautiful tropical beach. What do you see? Maybe ocean waves, birds flying, seashells, and definitely sand. But wait, what does the sand look like? Now open your eyes. The sand you were imagining probably looks something like this, white or tan. You may not have pictured sand that looks like this. This sand is black. Yes, this is real, natural sand. It hasn't been painted or dyed. One place where you can find black sand like this is on the island of Hawaii at Punalu'u Beach. The beach here is covered with this black sand. But where did it come from? And why does this particular beach have black sand instead of the white or tan sand we've come to expect on tropical beaches? And that leads us to our big sandy question for today. Why do some beaches have black sand? In order to answer this question, we need to gather some info. To figure out where this tiny black sand came from, let's explore the area around the beach. Maybe we can find some clues. We've got palm trees, ocean waves. Oh, and Punalu'u Beach is right next to a volcano. Not just one volcano. There are actually five volcanoes on this island. Two of them are still active, which means they could erupt, explode. And when an eruption happens, watch out. Extremely hot lava pours out. But eventually, that lava cools down. And then it turns into this black rock that you can see on the sides of the volcano. The black lava rocks are made out of basalt. You might think these basalt rocks will stay just like this forever but they actually change quite a lot over time. The change is mainly due to something called weathering. And no, not the weather that you see up in the sky when the sun shines or snow falls. This is different. When rocks or other materials break down into smaller pieces, we call it weathering. Weathering can happen quickly, when you hit a rock with a hammer, breaking it, or it can happen over thousands and thousands of years. What do you think will happen to the rock as it sits here for thousands of years? Well, the rock might be present for some more volcano eruptions, some surfing competitions, and plenty of sunny days. But it's also going to come in contact with a lot of different elements. Wind will whip the face of the rock and knock other things into it. Water will run over the rock. Animals will step on the rock. And plants might even grow out of it. Over the course of thousands of years, this can really take its toll on the rock, which will make it start to break apart into little pieces. Together, these tiny broken-off pieces are called sediment. So the basalt rock sediment will collect around the sides of the volcano, and then it will start to move. No, nobody comes and collects the rocks, and the pile of sediment doesn't stand up and move on its own. What do you think moves the sediment? The sediment is moved by blowing wind and moving water. As years and years and years pass, the sediment gets blown down the side of the volcano, smashed against the ground and other rocks, and splashed by water. The process of moving sediment from one place to another is called erosion. Eventually, this little sediment makes it all the way down the volcano to the coast, to the beach. The process of dropping or depositing sediment in a new place is called deposition. Now we can see two things on this island, the sandy beach and the basalt rocks. What do the basalt rocks and the sand have in common? Through the entire process of weathering, becoming sediment, eroding, and finally deposition, the rocks never lost their black color. The rocks were made out of basalt. So is the sediment, and so is the sand. That entire journey slowly chipped away at the basalt rock to turn it into countless pieces of black sand. That's where this black, sandy beach comes from. So let's get back to our big question and see if you can unlock this mystery. Why do some beaches have black sand? The black sand beaches at Punalu'u Beach in Hawaii are surrounded by volcanoes. Those volcanoes erupt and the lava quickly cools into rocks made of black basalt. 
that rock was weathered away by the wind, rain, and other elements, eventually turning into sediment. That sediment is eroded down the side of the volcano by the wind and water. During the erosion process, the sediment keeps getting weathered into smaller and smaller pieces. Eventually, wind and water deposit the sediment at the beach. Black sand beaches like this aren't only found in Hawaii. Many beaches across the world have this amazing black sand, and you can almost always bet that those beaches will have a volcano somewhere nearby. Now that you've gathered some info, it's time to show what you've learned. Sand can actually be found in even more colors, and not just in Hawaii. Santorini, Greece has some beautiful beaches. Beautiful red beaches. Where did this red sand come from? The sand was weathered from the red rocks that surround the beach. But how? Looking at this picture, explain why the beaches here are red. Use the words weathering and sediment in your answer. The rock in this area has a distinct red color. The cliffs around the beach are covered in this red-colored rock. Wind and water will weather or break down the rock into tiny pieces called sediment. Over time, that sediment will get eroded, pushed down the hill, and continually weathered, becoming smaller and smaller until it becomes a tiny red piece of sand and is deposited on this beach. Now that you've shown what you've learned, Let's recap. Beaches are full of sand, but sand actually starts out as rock. Depending on the type of rock, the color of the sand can be white, brown, black, even red or green. And all those different colors make for some pretty spectacular sandcastles. That's all for this time. Don't forget to keep asking questions.